with all the projects that I've done and like with all the music that I put out, like I try to be intentional to have like some type of like deeper context to it. Like uh, there's always like whether it's a story or a perspective that I'm trying to share or like whatever it is, there's always some type of context. Uh, but with that, that, like I might not know what that context or what that story is as I'm writing it or it might come along later. Uh, it might like subconsciously always be there, um, but it's like once the final product is out that I'm able to like really draw what the whole story was. It's like, okay, this is what I was feeling at that moment to create this whole body. But I will say like with the whole greenhouse project, it probably started in like 2019 um, where I was like really like, I was kind of frustrated because like I knew that the music that I had out wasn't like the greatest representation of like who I was as an artist and where I was at. I felt like, you know, I was recording so much by myself, like mixing so much by myself and like that there had been a lot of growth uh, within myself and whether it's like what I was talking about or how I was doing it or delivery or whatever. Um, and I remember uh, saying, I'm going to just drop three songs. So like I did these, uh, this like little three song EP, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, one of the songs done, it was the Sunlight song. And I felt like that like really like embodied like everything that I was trying to say, whether it was from, you know, the perspective of being a black man in America, or whether it was like using or talking about my influences, whether musically or uh, just the people, you know, that the stories that I see around me or the people that are around me or whatever. Um, and then at that point, I really like kind of realized that the whole purpose of what I'm doing is to use the platform to spread sunlight. So like at my shows, that's kind of became like the chant that everybody sang along was we're just spreading sunlight, we're just spreading sunlight. Um, and that really stuck with me. And like as I continued to record music, um, that really just had the feel to it. Like the songs that I was recording felt like a walk down a field on a sunny day or whatever. So I really just tried to tap into that, like just going into the summer of last year, uh, knowing that like, this is the music that I want to make. This is the music, not only that I want to make, but even if I don't want to make it, this is what's still coming out. So like, I was like really intentional about just making music that really fit, like fit that. And uh, I remember thinking like, if I could create a project that sounds like what the color green would sound like if I had a sound, like this would be that. Um, so like all along the project was called Green in My Head. I never like solidified what the title was. Um, as you can see, like I'm into plants and shit. So like all throughout the house, like I have plants that I'm taking care of all day, every day. And uh, naturally Greenhouse kind of just became the name of the project and kind of the mood too. I feel like the project just really has like a really green mood to it. Um, but as far as just like building the project and like the creation of it, I think all along, like I knew every song that I was recording, I uh, was gonna go on this project. And uh, usually like, I mean, I record a lot. So like I might have 50 songs and out of the 50, I might have like 10 or 15 throwaways. But like within that time frame where I was recording, every single song that I recorded uh, is on the project and just fit perfectly. Um, so just that whole experience, like it was just really natural. Um, I felt that everything that I was trying to tap into and I was trying to say just came out. Um, and even the songs that were a little bit more difficult or wasn't as natural, like the Sea song, for example, like that was the very first song that I started working on on this project. Um, and it was also the very last song to be like finalized on the project because I threw it away. I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling this song. I had like another verse on it. I was like, yeah, this isn't really uh, the flow that I want. And then maybe like three weeks before the project was announced, uh, I hit up my homie Josh, who's on who's on the song, and I was like, he he can do exactly what it is I want for it. He can say a lot of big words and sound really smart and say exactly what it is I want him to say. And that's exactly what he did. So uh, even the the songs that were a little bit difficult to like create and fit into like the whole idea of the project, uh, it still ended up coming together perfectly. And I think that's kind of just a testament to the project in Greenhouses. Uh, it was just a really natural process. No, and I'm glad you said that because like I designed it to be that kind of project where you're just doing like random stuff and you can still play the music to whether you know you're more in your yard or watering your plants or doing dishes or chilling or whatever the case might be. Like I wanted it to be like something that's like really easy to listen to um, and just has like a really natural flow. Like it doesn't jump from one extreme to the other, but it's just like a smooth ride all the way through. Um, and so I'm really glad you said that. I'm really glad that you picked up on that because that was definitely the goal. <laughs> so Midnight Stereo was a crowdfunded uh, project that I dropped in 2019. I think that that was a lot of hesitation in the beginning was uh, like, okay, I have this goal. 
how the fuck am I gonna get to this goal? And like, who's gonna help me get there? So like, that was like a big question for me. So like, even starting that, I was like, all right, I, I have this goal. I think that we can do it. I'm not 100% sure. Let me just like put a hundred dollars in here just to start off and then hope that people come along. And like, that was kind of like my seed money into myself. Oh, just kind of thinking that, you know, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But uh, at least some people might have helped. And then I also put my own money towards it. Uh, so I ended up doing that. And the next thing I know, like the response ended up being a lot bigger than what I thought it would have been. So like kind of seeing how that snowballed and seeing that you know, not only are people willing to support, but they also want to support. Um, I think that that's like a really big thing that I had to realize, um, especially here in Lansing, uh, just because, you know, I've done so many events and have done so many things just in the area um, that sometimes you know it it's it's weird to ask or it's like you know I don't want to ask I want to continue to give or continue to do for other people so like when you're on the other side of that and you're asking it just doesn't feel natural it feels like you know you have to do it yourself uh, but putting ourselves out there like that um, and really just asking and seeing the result of that seeing the support seeing how people like were excited uh, when they got the rewards whether it was a poster or like the free download or the CD or whatever it was uh, that was just really dope and it really just boosted the confidence level uh, going into even to this project so just kind of knowing like this was uh, EP, six songs, really five songs if you don't count the intro. Um, it wasn't even a full body, full representation, but people still supported. So like that really kind of was in the back of my mind and just creating Greenhouse, uh, knowing that, you know, people supported for this this little preview. So now like I really want to like kind of get into my bag and uh, record a full project and knowing that I had the confidence and that people would back it um, really just helped. And even if, you know, only one person backed it, only one person uh, pushed it, just having that confidence prior to you know, setting out to put the project out played a big part in it. And uh, it just kind of lets you know that, you know, you can do it. You do have the means within yourself and within like your support network to make stuff happen. And that's kind of just been my motto over the past couple of years is between myself and the people who support it, like we can make whatever it is we want to have happen.